Why does Mia call Darren Darren and not Dad? We've had a lot of these. Wow, Fizz fam, look how beautiful this smoothie is turning out. Look, this ocean bowl smoothie I'm going to be making. And the secret ingredient for it is blue spirulina. So if you use like the proper spirulina that you normally get, like the regular stuff, that's green. And that is a nice, intense color, but it's not as beautiful as this vibrant, like royal blue. You can see a little bit which is stuck there. I feel like um, this is coming out okay. I made the babies and it came out quite runny, so I want to make you a really nice thick one, Darren. Wow, look at that. That is stunning, isn't it? And it also tastes delicious as well. I tried some, it's amazing. Yeah, mum made some for the babies earlier and then I ate the leftovers. Oh, I love how it gets that marble effect. Me, it's like artwork, isn't it? Look, because there's some bits where the dried powder hasn't blended into it and it creates like, a gorgeous marble wow. effect. I'm so inspired. When you did early, had more than marble. Wow, look at that. And then this is for Darren. Welcome to Georgie's Smoothie Bowl Shop. I'm going to set up my own little, um, what they call it, truck, Smoothie Bowl Shop. This is called the Ocean Bowl. Inspired by the Costa Rica. Costa Rica! The Costa Rica waves. And then, Darren, the last little topping for you is going to be something I prepared earlier and it is some creamy coconut chia pudding and this really goes with the theme of the ocean bowl because obviously coconuts on the beach yeah tropical vibes so I've made this chia pudding with um, some water <laughs> and hair <laughs> I made this chia pudding with um, canned coconut unsweetened um, organic coconut um, milk and I kept all the cream in it and the water. I mixed it up and then the, it's also some water in there as well. Doesn't that look gorgeous? I'm gonna give you a bigger dollar. What I would have done, what I would do to improve this dish is that I'd add in less chia seeds, more coconut milk or more of the coconut cream to make it more of a white color. Because as you can see, the chia seeds are quite like dominant. Unless I use those more lighter colored chia seeds, white chia seeds, then that would look even more beautiful. So the actual smoothie bowl is the white ocean and then the um, like desiccated coconut is like the spray of the ocean. Yeah. And then that's an island in the middle. Of course we've got to add a bit of cacao. I would put more fruit on here and some flowers, but we don't actually have any fruit left. We've used up all our fruit for the week. I'd love to have some strawberries and blueberries on here. There is your ocean bowl before we go to the beach. Oh, can you guys see that? Mmm, absolutely incredible. Thank you, Georgie. Fizz Pam, I actually haven't surfed in like a, a long, long time. There's three beaches here. Now one has really strong waves, and then the other one, you can't really surf in it because there's loads of rocks. And now today we're gonna go to the one where you can probably surf, and we've been there a couple times before, and I'm like, maybe I could surf here, and so I'm gonna dare myself. I do have to admit, I do get really scared. It is very scary, like the sea is strong and powerful. It's different to skateboarding, because like, you can just choose like not to drop in or something, but when you're in the middle of the ocean, you kind of have got to, so. I've got it out of the garage. There it is waiting for me. You've got ocean bowl for breakfast to fill you up for it, haven't you? <laughs> yes, I have. There it is, my beauty. First, this section of the video has been sponsored by Lego because Lego's annual build day is just around the corner and we're actually so excited. We've already started, haven't we? Yep. 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 <laughs> I'm really happy because the babies are busy playing with their Duplo, so mum actually gets to have a go and I'm gonna build sort of like a classic a house, but I'm gonna make it Christmassy, so like a candy cane house, but I feel oh, like the girls have stolen on my bits, haven't you? I actually haven't done something Christmas themed, now I'm kind of jealous that I didn't copy. I'm making some hearts, and I, w I wanted to make like different sizes, and then I'm gonna try and make loads, and That's then I That's good, yeah. I like that, I really like that. And I do like all that. the pretty colors, like, so they're so coordinated. And I'm building like a bedroom and bathroom. So here's the bathroom, I've done like the tap so far. I love like doing detailed like buildings. So I've done like even the little hot and cold knobs, the tap and then the soap. There's steps yeah, to the bedroom, that. then there's a bed, there's a bed to a cabinet and then there's treasures. And I'm now building like a desk. Wouldn't it be cool if like we could make these and they could be like a village? <gasps> yeah. yeah. You're making something with your deep blow, aren't you Carla? Yeah, I'm putting the people in there. Looks like you've been eating gingerbread houses as well. I haven't. 
Oh, it looks like you might have. So if you guys can remember FizzFam, we first did this last year when LEGO actually started the annual build day. And so we're excited again for it to happen this year. And it's gonna be on the 27th of December, exactly the same date as last year. And it's just super cool because it's a time for like, you know that downtime kind of period between Christmas and New Year? Exactly yeah. when we're all hanging out and we're like playing games and stuff so we can actually get together and try to build something incredible. And then if everyone can share it, then you can all check out what each other has done. So we're obviously gonna be sharing our creations and we're gonna use the hashtag hash Lego build day but you can also go to lego.com to find out more information about this. I'm building a toilet. Okay. Oh, why are you guys laughing? Well, I don't get why you're laughing. No, wait, the house a does bathroom need a toilet. has to have a toilet. I know but I mean, it's just like, it's just funny because she's like, who, who built the toilet with Lego? Who built the candy cane house? Someone who's really getting obsessed with Christmas stuff. So that's what you've built, Kami. I built like a tent for fun and it's Wow, we should set up a little campsite for the camper fan to drive to so we can stay there overnight, shouldn't we? So make sure you guys have your Lego ready and you can join us on the 27th of December. But for now, let's get back to the video. Right, Cameron, do you want to show the fish fam? You swimming? I was only just saying the other night to Darren how I really want to show oh, you her swimming. Try? Because his can face I, is full of joy. Good boy! Come on, come on. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Karma's having a little nap for his fam, so we have to be a little bit quiet, but I really wanted you guys to get to see the homemade burgers, where everyone's going to... I say everyone, literally now I started vlogging, there is no one here. Everybody has gone. <laughs> anyway, we're making homemade burgers. I chopped all these wedges up, just saying. Sweet um, potato. What spices do you want me to put on them? Just pepper and salt? No, we're going to make black pepper and lime wedges. So oh, okay. Sienna's going to go and collect yeah. a lime out of the garden, because we actually have um, ones that grow in the garden. Go on. And then you're going to rub in some pink Himalayan salt and some garlic powder and some black pepper and loads of lime. So we're going to have the wedges, sweet potato yeah. wedges, guys. And then over here, we've got the burgers. Now you're like, what? That's a portobello mushroom, I know, but that is what it's going to be, the burger inside our burger buns, yummy. which are over here. Yes, yeah, so we've got some burger buns here. These are gluten free ones, but this is like a really quick one. If you fancy a burger, just get some giant portobello mushrooms and like grill them or like fry them and then pop them in the burger with all the slices of cheese and all the other things. But then it's really, really good for you. And I think also if you're on a diet, it's probably really good because there'll probably be less calories. Although we're going to be putting tons of stuff in it, aren't we, Romeo? Sienna came running in from the garden and she looked really, really disgusted because she said that she looked everywhere for some limes and she couldn't find any, apart from one which is on the floor and loads of worms were coming out of her. So Sienna, the little darling that she is, she's now gone off on her bike and she's looking around the community for some limes because loads of them grow wild here as well because the ones in our garden ah. were planted to be I lemon lime trees. Go to the shop no. to get some because there's a shop which is closed. No, she, we want to get some wild organic ones. Because she knows where all the good spots for them are, so she's gone off again. I feel like she did this in a vlog quite a while ago, because we were going to have avocado on toast, and I think she did go off for lemons. So what we've done is, we've already put them in, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So that they get baking. Let's smell that fizz pan. That smells so good, doesn't it? Really we put loads of garlic powder on as well, mm -hmm. we went crazy. I love garlic. And then because we love things really peppery, we did one tray you know really peppery, oh, and then we did the other one not so peppery, so the babies like can eat them as well. Yeah, I was also thinking, don't you think it'd be really nice, nearer to the end, if I chopped up like an onion and then we put like red onion in it as well? Ooh, like a nice. good red onion. Yeah. Well, well we have we... like garlic cloves, like we could put some yeah, garlic in it. Like that'd some be fresh nice. Garlic too. And then I also have these tomatoes here, Fizz Fam, with a red onion. Would you mind making a really good, like, finely diced onion salad? Salad, yeah, sure. Yeah, finely diced salad. I love making the salad. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Chopping it up, like, I find it therapeutic. Well, <laughs> Fizz Fam, to chop these up, it takes a long time because yes, I am one of those people where I don't want to put the cherry tomato in the salad whole. It's got to be chopped in half. I, any of you like that? Do you just dump it in whole or do you chop it in half? It's got to be chopped in half. Today I'll be extra special and I'll chop it in quarters. Well, we actually learned something. When you finally dice food up, it tastes better. Does it? It actually tastes better. It gives the okay. food more flavour. I don't know how. I don't know if it's some kind of energetic thing or some kind of... I don't know, but yeah. Golf ball! Oh, you found a golf ball. Look, Ho is playing with our faux presents under the tree. Little cheeky. 
We actually do have to go and get the pressure site soon, don't we? Alfie. Hi, Alfie. She's hiding from you on karma because the other day, uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think she's trying to get over that still, but she's still got some of the magic in her left, hasn't she? Sienna, any luck? Three. Three. So two Show are... Us, uh, come on. Bang. Show us your bounty. Wow. So that's a big one, that's really ripe. Wow, it looks like an orange. There's that other one. Wow, you've got three varieties there. I know. I don't think the smallest one is ripe because I plucked it off the tree, yeah. but the two other ones came off the ground and I checked for insects and I hope there's none. I that don't one think looks there like is. a key lime. That looks like a normal lemon lime and that looks like an orange. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You've got loads to choose from. Yep. They smell amazing. Look what Sienna got for us. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. She went out wow. and got them off the bushes and trees. Mm. Smell good on them. I think yeah. we should grate some of the zest on the potato right, skins as well and a tiny little bit of the juice. I think, yeah, let's do the zest. That would be a great, It'd give it a nice sort of kick then, won't it? Yeah. While the burgers are cooking Fizz Fam, we have a new segment for you guys, which is called Answering Questions with Family Fizz. <laughs> I was expecting you to do that. That's good. Question number one. For, by the way, if you guys want to want us to answer one of your questions, just include the word question in your question. And then when I search the comments, because there's too many comments for us to go through all of them. When I search the comments, I can just search for the word question, then I can find it. First question from Amy Plays. And she says, question, is karma a llama? No. Ah. She's a human child. But I quite often say that she is a llama yeah. to her. And I have, I've have i had to tone it down a bit just in case she gets To the complex. point of also where, you know like where people end up looking like they're dogs? <laughs> yeah. Georgie actually thinks that karma does resemble a little bit of a llama Yeah, now. in a cute, really endearing way. But yeah, yeah, sometimes I say to her, oh, look at your cute little hooves and that. And she's like, I'm not a llama. But then sometimes she says she is one, doesn't she? Chloe Adler says, how old were y'all when y'all became vegan or have y'all always been vegan? Uh, how old was I? Well, I would have been um, 10 years or nine. And I'd have been 27. I think I must have been like 23. 29. I'd have been 29. What am I talking about? I think I was 23 or 24. Yeah, because it, yeah, it's eight or nine. Yeah, it's almost ten years now, so it's yeah. going to be ten years on the fourteenth of January. Yeah, I always get muddled up between the twelfth and the fourteenth, because it was two thousand and twelve was a year, and the fourteenth was the date. So coming up for ten years. Jas Sparrow says, "Has Sienna ever sweared or sworn?" Have you seen Sienna? Her? Oh, she's she's got a nervous smile going on. Come here. Come Have you here. ever sworn? No. I promise you won't get in trouble. Even no. like if you drop something on your foot, did you accidentally swear? No. Have you ever called me a, a nasty word? Like when you're arguing? You didn't ask her. No. Has no. she ever sworn at you? No, she's never no. sworn. No. I doubt Sienna would ever Sienna swear. Sienna would just be like, you're so ungrateful and stuff like that. Yeah. Like she, I don't think that comes to her naturally. Although no. sometimes if I accidentally swear, she'll laugh, but I don't think she'd do it, would she? Michelle Eckelberger, sorry if I've mispronounced that, says, have you guys had any struggles with mental health before? And if you have, do you have any advice? I mean, wow, this is like a book for an answer for this one, isn't it? Yeah, I don't um, really know what the... Yes, and my advice would be to always think about... I answered a question of... I didn't get this question, but I actually answered a comment of someone else earlier today, which, or yesterday, I can't remember what day it was. Daily vlogging has literally turned into one long day, which was um, focus on life as like one giant chapter and things only happen in very short time frames. And it feels like it's gonna be forever at that time. But if you just focus on what you want your life to look like at some point in the future and don't get hung up on the steps to get there, and just take one day at a time and accept there's going to be challenges along the way and these are like the lessons that we get from life and life wouldn't be fulfilling without those challenges and hardships. And also you just can't forget about diet and sleep as well. Because sometimes if I'm really stressed out or I start to feel a bit like run down and not feeling that good, it's because I'm not having good sleep at that yeah. time. Yeah, take that's care really of yourself. Important. Like I always wonder like after a woman has a baby, you get like the baby blues or postnatal depression. But I think a lot of that could be to do, I'm not saying in every single case, but a lot of to do with the woman's like mental health then is because she's like staying awake nearly every night, like feeding a baby. Like yeah. of course that's gonna affect you, so. Yeah, and yeah. obviously, um, you know, to say like love yourself, obviously when you're in that mindset, you don't love yourself, you're the opposite of loving yourself. Yeah. So it's just about forcing it. Like, you know, the fake it till you make it type of thing. Like, just take one step at a time and try yeah. and force yourself to do something nice for yourself just to work on healing. Oh my goodness, how do I pronounce this? Right, I'm gonna assume this is an Irish name. Oh. And I'm sorry, but I have no, because I, I can remember Siobhan, how it's spelt and how it looks 
to me, it doesn't look like it's the same word, but Oibe. <laughs> Oibe? Oibe Duffy says, sorry, uh, like honestly, tell me how you pronounce that. Can you write it phonetically so I know how to say it? I have a question, does Sienna have a YouTube channel? Yes, she does. Super Sienna. But she doesn't post on there at the moment. She doesn't post on there for no. a year, I don't reckon. A Brown says, where's Buddy? Buddy. Ooh, ooh, buddy. Where ooh, is Buddy? Ooh, buddy. You're my best friend. Where's Buddy? <laughs> he got given to another child. He got given to the charity shop. I don't even remember that. Did you give him that or did... Or did I have Buddy in Dubai? I can't remember. I, feel like I don't know. But I feel like is Buddy in Dubai? I don't know, but Buddy what might happens? Be in Dubai. What happens is <laughs> Sienna likes cycling her teddy bear. She has one favourite one, and then she like gives it to a charity shop, and then gets a new one. Or like you get a new one, then you donate yeah. the other one, don't you? Yeah. Poppy Brabrook Cherry says, when baking a vegan cake, what do you use instead of eggs? Oh, you can use lots Chefs. of things. A lot of different things. So first of all, you can make a chia egg where you just, I can't remember the proportions, but It's like one tablespoon of ground chia seeds with three tablespoons of water, I yeah. think. I think, and I, and Isn't I, it flax seeds that you use? Anyway? You chia and flax. Or oh, you get pre-made ones. Chia or ones. flax. Or you can get pre-made ones well, like this. Or it. sometimes but if this it's... is probably like rubbish junk food no, in this not. one, isn't it? No, it's not. No, no, it's not. This one is actually quite good. It's potato starch, tapioca flour, baking soda, and psyllium husk. Okay, cool. Or you can use like apple sauce. It depends if you're making a sweet yeah. or savory dish. You can but use apple sauce. Cakes, you can use pumpkin puree. You can use uh, mashed banana. Like yeah, in pancakes, we use mashed well. banana. But There's so many different options. Generally speaking, it's usually like called a flax or chia egg. Flax egg, yeah. yeah flax egg, yeah. When are you going to post on Fizz Sisters or Super Sienna again? Uh, I mean, when the moment arises. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're not going to force it, but sometimes the girls get really good inspiration for a video and yeah. then they yeah. do film it, or like Sienna. But we just, we've just been focused on the Family Fizz channel. Depends that if, we, if we have time, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Why does Mia call Darren Darren and not Dad? By the way, I love you guys. I've actually, we've had a lot of these because there's another, really? that, this one was from Lois Piscopo and then I've got another one here, but there was so many of this, which was, yeah. this one's from Kiwi wow. Lee. I know it's recently Mia calls Darren Dad. Um, which is so hard. But how come sometimes she still calls him Darren? Um, I mean, we've made videos about this before, like explaining yeah. it, but basically there's not anything like deep to it. It just, I just say whatever. No, but, like there's no like deep meaning behind whether I call him Darren or Dad. I think we've made a video before about that I'm your stepdad, but I don't think we've made a video before about you calling me Dad. And I feel no, that came have. about when the babies are born, didn't it? No, I think we've mentioned right. it before in videos, in but like, there's nothing deep before. to it, just sometimes I call him Darren. Like, like if she's Darren. calling him Darren, that doesn't mean that yeah. she doesn't like him, and if she's calling him I Dad. I feel like she calls me Darren when she's addressing me, but she'll call me Dad when she's talking about me. Yeah. Like for the baby's sake like or for me, the really. vlog's sake or that yeah, type of thing. I mean, it's like me. I like call I'll Mom call you um, Darren dad. when I'm talking to you. You talk about me as dad to... Yeah. yeah. But sometimes yeah. I do accidentally call him dad when it's just me and you. And, and then I'm like, oh sorry, but that's the mum right. Yeah, no, she calls me dad all the time. <laughs> it, honestly, when we're not vlogging, when the babies aren't around, she's just like, dad. I'm like, I know. I'm, I'm not your dad. I Why know. do you keep calling it's me dad? It's because like of all the kids saying that. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's just that thing what happens to parents when you have kids, and then you just become mum and dad and you lose yourselves. Don't that was actually the last one. Yeah. That concludes answering questions with Family Fizz. I promise intentionally trying to run into my ankles. The whole time I've been making it, I have to keep running away from Oh my goodness. <laughs> Cheeky face. He pulls his face and he's like, I know he's going to do it. Oh, we've been having a lot because she keeps going, that's it, that's it. To me, oh, oh, that lemon dress. Watch out that. Basically, we just all had this realisation. Did you just call me dad when there's no babies around? <laughs> da, na, 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 na. <laughs> oh yeah, hang on. Yeah, what, what am I even talking about? Kura is literally there. I think you need some dinner, and you don't you? <laughs> oh, oh. That was a good one. We've all just been having a laugh. Well done, Kura. We just been <laughs> That's it. That's it. Come on, Pesimar, one. Point into the ankles. I realise how much we're bonding over food right now. Mimi and Sienna are huge foodies. But I'd say that Darren and Karma is as well. Karma is as well, isn't he? Yeah. We're all foodies, but we're really bonding over this. Like we're really enjoying, like <laughs> thinking about all the flavours. We've got one extra spicy one. Ow. Come on, don't do that, Kawa, that will hurt.
No, no. Mia, I feel like by you kind of running away from it, it does encourage it a little bit. Oh, yeah, good boy. You put You're those back boy. in there, nice yeah? Kind, yeah? You transport Gentle. those in your little transportation device. Yeah? Thank you. Good boy. I'm backseat cooking. You are. You are. You're not going to take the stalk off. Well, I'm, well, I'm going to cut stalk my off. stalk off myself. You're supposed to take the stalk off. I don't want like a falling over burger. burger. Mum, no, does a normal like burger actually have like a like a stalk coming out of it? Yes, it does. Oh, wait, we can serve a Food time. Wait, you there. Ah, look at that. That's for you, yeah. I want to keep my stalky. Stalky? I'm going to slice my. Fifth fan. Barbecue mm. sauce or ketchup in your burger? Or barbecue. Mustard. Only the weirder at the fan will have the mustard. I actually like mustard and barbecue sauce, no, but, 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 but the primary sauce tomato or barbecue? What do you vote, Sienna? Barbecue, yeah. for definite. Barbecue, obviously. Dad? Ooh, I'm gonna go ketchup and a burger. Ketchup, ketchup for definite, yeah. I do barbecue and mustard. Barbecue on pizza. I wish we could have had Karma. Yeah, she's still yeah. having a nap. You heard that. Karma's still napping. Koa? Hot. Barbecue sauce or tomato ketchup? Oh. <laughs> He's eating a salad Thank first. you. Guess what? I really want Kama to wake up and see this because she's in the car when we're going to go and get buy the burgers. She was like, I really love burger. Burger is my favourite. And every time we eat out, she always wants to order burger as well. And she's only three. Oh How God, cute is so that? Cute. It's adorable. Welcome to Portobello Burger Try. Okay, that failed. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes mm. really good, really smoky. I love mushrooms. Mm. This is good. It doesn't like taste any different from like an actual burger. It doesn't like taste like you're eating a mushroom. Oh.